Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bhartia, and we are here at Seattle for Open Source Summit. And today we have with us, once again, Hillary Carter, SVP of Research and Communications at the Linux Foundation. Hillary, it's good to have you back on the show. Thank you very much, Swab. Good to be here. It's my pleasure to, uh, of course, host you again. Let's just quickly get some updates. What's new going on? Of course, Linux Foundation is huge, but you have, like, since you're Director of Communication, you do know a lot of things, so I can ask you, not just the research part, but the industry, you know, foundation wise. Give us some date, what's going on. Wow, so it's great to be back in Seattle for Open Source Summit North America. This event, as an example, is um, one of the largest we've done in a long time. I think we have more than 2,000 attendees here today. Uh, so that's really terrific. We're pleased to see uh, the turnout. Um, We've got a terrific content agenda, and I had the opportunity to give a walk-on keynote this morning describing some of the initiatives that I've personally been working on. Uh, we had new project launches, Project uh, Margo. We had SPDX 3.0 release. Uh, we have uh, new projects launching at LF AI and Data. And um, we, of course, have uh, new contributors uh, that have joined the Valky project, which was not announced here. Uh, but has gained incredible momentum in the past couple of weeks since it was announced. Uh, that coupled with new research studies and new research publications, um, I almost don't know where to begin. Before we started uh, this recording, you also mentioned, you know, uh, the Linux Foundation has thousands of projects, so it's hard to find. And you folks are also working on content uh, portal. So let's start there. What work is going on there? We have grown over the past many, many years, and today we host more than 1,000 projects. We also have collaborative support programs um, that help projects uh, scale. And what we have found is that it's often challenging to um, find the different resources that exist across the Linux Foundation that accelerate common goals or that are aligned thematically. I'll give you an example. Um, uh, which projects are uh, advancing open source uh, management best practices? Which projects have uh, sustainability goals in common? Uh, so just this morning, and this was one of uh, the messages that I gave from the keynote stage, uh, we launched LF Security as a new content gateway right on the linuxfoundation.org's homepage, which is a a, a central hub or a place where people can go to to find the totality of the resources that exist across the Linux Foundation that are specific to security. I'll give you some examples. What are the projects that are accelerating open source software security? Projects like um, Alpha Omega, Open Source Security Foundation, uh, SPDX, uh, OpenChain, the Confidential Computing Consortium. These are examples of, of projects and communities that have a, a shared interest in accelerating security, but they do different things. Similarly, we have security focused events. We've got the upcoming Cloud Native Security Con in June. Um, we have resources, uh, we have research reports that dive deep into security specific issues. We have training and certification. We have more than half a dozen free training courses and we have um, a 60 to 90 minute, ah, uh, um, oh, the name of the course is, is escaping me, um, brief uh, dives into a security training offered by our training and certification community. So everything that relates to security, including uh, how to report a security vulnerability, uh, as well as recent guidance on how to identify social engineering threats, the kind that we just saw uh, come through the XE utils. And that is by no means the last example of uh, this kind of threat dynamic. So where to go to find security specific information is now Linux Foundation Security. It's a content portal that you can see on the LF's homepage. Is it going to be only specific to security or it will expand to other areas as well? We do have uh, three other uh, content hubs also on the LF.org homepage. Uh, one of which uh, is specific to digital trust and digital asset ecosystems, communities like the Hyperledger Foundation, the Open Wallet Foundation, um, uh, Open Metaverse Foundation and uh, our projects that accelerate 
um, the the digital uh, transaction economy, if you will. So that's the digi oh, and uh, uh, digital identities, uh, trust over IP foundation. Um, uh, the C2PA project, the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity. All the projects that have digital trust at their core can be found in LF Digital Trust. A year ago in Vancouver, we launched Linux Foundation Sustainability. This was our um, opportunity to identify which open source projects in our ecosystem are accelerating the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. What's the uh, related research? What are the events like uh, Sustainability Con, which is taking place right here at Open Source Summit North America? And then in December last year, we were asked if we could create a portal specific to management and best practices, which we launched at Open Source Summit Japan to coincide with a new content track uh, supported by LF Events that's called Operations Management Summit. Uh, and that's where organizations can go very specifically to learn more about how to create um, responsible open source management within their organization. Can you also talk about how you're seeing Linux Foundation evolving when the word is changing around us? We have always existed to sustain open source communities in different ways to provide the, the frameworks, the, the legal structures, the marketing support, uh, the collaborative support programs, um, but most especially the governance models. Uh, because there is a difference between open source that is openly governed and open source that is singularly governed. And I think that is the differentiation that we have confronted most significantly in the past year. And it is important that we hold true to the values of open governance um, and differentiate ourselves as a community that really upholds that value, that holds true to the open source initiative's definition of what open source means, and uh, that we create communities around that. And I think uh, the business landscape may be changing, organizations may be um, uh, under pressure to change their licensing models to, uh, to increase revenue and to try to compete, but our mission uh, fundamentally has not changed. Open governance has always been at the heart of what we do and creating communities who value an open uh, governance approach um, come to the Linux Foundation because that's what they can reliably get is uh, um, collaborative support programs that really accelerate open openly governed open source projects. Talk about some new research projects which are underway, surveys that you folks are working on. We launched two new surveys in the field. It's the first time we're running a study called the World of Open Source um, Spotlight. And this is a worldwide study that's exploring open source uh, contribution trends, usage trends, um, uh, other opportunities and challenges. And it allows us to use segments of the data to create regional uh, focused reports. So taking data that comes out of Japan to create a Japan specific study, creating data out of Europe to help uh, guide our LF Europe uh, project and uh, community. And so this is uh, the third year that we're launching it. We are encouraging um, all developers, contributors of all kinds uh, to take the survey. It only takes uh, 10 minutes. And what's new is that um, we, are, we are making a contribution to the Linux Foundation Travel Fund. For every qualified and complete response that we receive, uh, we're going to allocate uh, funding uh, that can um, be redirected to support community engagement uh, in a different way. Beyond engagement research, we're helping to support engagement in live events just like this one. So that's one survey and one new reward mechanism that we hope is going to bring uh, more people into uh, the research process. The second study that we've launched is um, uh, the 2024 State of Open Standards Report. And this is in partnership with the Joint Development Foundation. Um, we are exploring why organizations uh, contribute to open standards and how they use them uh, to remain competitive. What's the value proposition? and what are the trends in standards. So two studies launched today we're very excited about. We have uh, half a dozen coming in the next uh, six weeks. This, the study that we're working with, in, uh, we're working in partnership with the Open Source Security Foundation on uh, the Secure Software Education Survey, understanding software development, exploring um, 
uh, how educational programming can be improved across the software development lifecycle so that we can ensure that we have secure software by design and um, entering into the thought processes of developers perhaps earlier in their education journey, maybe even as early as high school. Where are the education gaps um, based on what we know to be true about a, a developing for secure software today? So three reports, um, three surveys are in the field and there are uh, many more to come. Uh, if you have more time, I will be glad to talk to you about them. <laughs> <laughs> Hilary, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course talk about these reports and also the you know the LFY did you not know, give us a good overview of where we stand today. Thanks for all those great insights and I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you, Swap. Thank you so much for the opportunity.